Bienvenidos al mercado de Santa Lucia aquí en Boone, en la Carolina del Norte. Uh, this is our local and largest uh, Mexican grocery store, and uh, we are about to go inside. Vamos adentro. Santa Lucia? Eso se llama nopales. Estos son nopales. Y aquí se encuentran las espinas. Ahí. In Mexico, we eat the pad or paddle of the prickly pear cactus. You can buy these here at the Mexican grocery store. And they taste a lot to me like, sort of like a combination between green beans and okra. You have to be careful when you prepare them because there are spines. You can see the spines. And Mexican uh, cooks burn the spine off before they handle this and I'm just being a little bit dangerous today. Aquí está el nombre del producto. Aquí está el precio. Esta es una bolsa de chile árbol, árbol chili pods. Los mexicanos comen muchos tipos de chiles. Chile japonés, chile mulato, chile negro, chile guajillo. Y aquí tenemos the other kind of cactus, actually it's a succulent that we use in Mexico, is the leaf of the maguey plant. And we use this to wrap around meat that we cook. It gives it a special flavor. They don't really eat it, but they sometimes use it as a base to barbecue or flavor meats. And also, they will sometimes drain a sap out of this when they cut it off the plant and drink the sap. The sap is called pulque. And it is not very appetizing looking. It looks a lot like saliva but it's uh, considered a delicacy in Mexico and has been consumed by native Mexicans since uh, pre-Columbian times. So that is a maguey leaf. You could come here to Santa Lucia Market and pick one up. Productos frescos. Frutas y verduras. Fresh fruits and vegetables. And markets in Mexico have an abundance of fresh fruits and vegetables and this is one I bet you know, it's called a chile poblano and these are great for filling with cheese, queso this is a kind of squash, it's called a chayote and let's see, I'll pick one out of the bag these are chayotes, another food native to Mexico and you can come here to Santa Lucia Market and see some foods, some new foods let me put this back in the bolsa, the bag some of you out know this herb, it's called cilantro, and it's a favorite flavoring in Mexican food, Mexican cooking. It's got a real strong flavor. And then this is the soul of Mexican cooking, elotes. Elotes are ears of corn. Uh, some people say maíz, which means corn, but a better word in Spanish is elote. This pot is called a tamalera and we use it to make, let me see if I can show you right here, tamales. These are tamales, a very delicious Mexican food wrapped in corn husks. And I'll back up so you can see how big these pots are. Aquí está mi mano, my hand. So this is a very large cooking pot that we use for Mexican cooking, especially for tamales. And we steam them. Let's see if I can open it up. And right here, is sort of the steaming basket 
and we put water in first, primero agua, and then we put this layer of metal here which allows the steam to rise. Steam is called vapor, so uh, they cook al vapor, which means to steam tamales, and then we put the lid on and cook them. And I'm hoping later this year to film tamales being made by by some of our local Latins. And right here we've got some different snacks that we eat in Mexico. These are called toreadas, papas toreadas. Um, papas fritas are, are um, cooked potato chips. And these are jalapeno. And these are churritos, extra spicy. It says aura mas picoso. Right here, aura mas picoso. Toreadas a la diabla, red hot chili pepper, crunchy fajitas, takis, they're called. Papas toreadas habanero, these would be extremely hot, yet another chili or chile from Mexico. Takis fuego, these fuego is fire, and these are takis fuego. Chile y limon, and we're going to talk about that later. This is one of the favorite combinations or flavorings in Mexican snacks. And uh, I'll, I'll show you more about that in a minute. And one more. And yeah, we'll see what we've got here. These are called pa foot. And uh, I see football, footballista, soccer player on this. Some of you probably know who this is. I'll give you a close up of his face. And these are potato chips that are being marketed to some players, it looks like. Cañonazo flavor. Cañonazo flavor. I'm going to take you down this aisle in just a second. And I've already had a quick peek at what they're selling. And these are some things that should be very new to you. Lots of snacks. So if you want to come and try snacks from Mexico, this would be the aisle for you to go down. Let's see what they've got. So, oh, these, this is a great drink. Uh, it's called manzanita, which means little apple. Manzanita sol, one of Mexico's favorite soft drinks, is a carbonated apple juice. And there are many brands. I have not tried this one, but carbon, here's the one I like. This is my favorite. I'm going to show you a close-up. This is my favorite Mexican soft drink. It's called Cidral Mundet, and Cidral means cider. And Mundet is kind of like saying world, so it's... I always tell people it's called World Cider. Cidral Mundet, and it's a wonderful carbonated apple drink. And another favorite of mine is um, called Sangria Señorial, and it is a, uh, a drink made of grapes and lime. There's no alcohol in it, um, it's, but it's, it is called Sangria Señorial. It's a great soda. Pretty healthy. I think these two are fairly healthy. This is apple juice, jugo de manzana, and grape juice, jugo de uva. Jugo is juice in Spanish. But there are more. And I have not tried all of these. This one's called boing, guava juice. There's a guava fruit. So it says shake well. Boing, guava juice. And boing, mango. So these are fruits that are grown in tropical parts of the world in many places that speak Spanish are inside of the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, and so it never really gets cold um, in most of those places, and so they can grow tropical fruits. When I lived in Mexico, we called this Agua de Tamarindo. Tamarindo is in English called a tamarind, and I'm going to walk right now. I think I'll just keep this with me. I think I saw some tamarinds for sale somewhere in here. Let me look. Here we go. These are tamarinds. This is a, a fruit that grows in tropical countries. Here we go. I'll try to show it to you. It's a big bean-like pod. It looks almost like a giant brown green bean. And they boil this. And it's not exactly a beautiful fruit, but it makes a really good drink, a good flavor. And so this fruit, tamarind or tamarindo, is the fruit we get this drink from. And it's delicious. I would really recommend that you come try it.